I'm going to show you how to combine data from multiple sheets into one uh, consolidated uh, database. So um, it might sound a little bit complicated, but we're going to unentangle and discomplicate this. It's actually very simple once you break this down into steps. But here's what we need to do. I have three sheets that have data. So I have uh, data for uh, the West region. I have data for the central region and I have data for the east region and each one of them is in a different uh, spreadsheet. So what I want to do is to have one database where I have all of this data coming in and also updating as my reps update their own sheets. So what we can do here, the first thing we need to make sure that um, the three uh, reps that I have, so the three um, spreadsheets that I'm importing from are using uh, the same format, okay? So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to copy the header, just control C, come back to where I want to consolidate and I'm going to copy it, control V to copy, and this is going to be my header. And the header is the same in the three spreadsheets that I have. You can have a quick look, it's the same header, okay? Now, what we are going to be importing is only the data below the header. Now, the first thing I have to do, I have to give my spreadsheet access to the other spreadsheets. And to do that, we're going to use a function called import range. So we're going to start um, with an equals as always for a function and type import range. So here it is. I like to click on it. And the first thing we need is the spreadsheet URL. So we're going to go and we're going to have to do this three times or as many times as you have spreadsheets. OK, so I'm going to go to the first one and I'm going to get the URL. So you don't need the whole URL. You only need the unique identifier, which is everything after the D and up until here where you see edit. OK, so all I need to copy is this little part here. I'm going to do control C to copy. I come back to where I uh, to my consolidated database and I'm going to copy the URL. Uh, I have to put it in between inverted commas. So I'm going to put one at the start and one at the end. OK, and comma and then the range. Now, as always, you can open the helper and it'll tell you what is the range, you know, what each thing is. But the range is basically you go into the uh, spreadsheet what do you want me to look at into so it's selling here basically you need to have the name of the tab and then with an exclamation mark at the end and then the range so let's go back there um, here it's called sheet one but let's give it a name so let's see let's say sales um, okay oh, just sales is fine all right so let's go back here and let's say it's always starting with the inverted comma. Uh, so it's sales. That's the name of the sheet where we're getting the data from. Uh, exclamation mark, because that's the way we need to write it. And then the range. Let's go back here and see what the range was. So the range was A2 all the way to H16. OK, so A2 to H16. Now, one thing that you want to do here, you, you can do just H because as you update more data, then this will update automatically. So you don't limit it only to H16. OK, so it's going to get all everything that gets populated into your spreadsheet. OK, we are ready to close this. And it's going to load and you're always going to get a reference um, error. And the reason why you get the reference error is because you need to allow access. And that's what we're trying to do here. We're trying to allow, ac allow access. Uh, we're trying to allow this uh, spreadsheet here to access the other one. So we're going to allow it. And ta-da, this is our data. Um, so what we are going to do here, we are going to copy uh, this formula. Sorry. Um, so we're going to copy import range. I just selected it, control C, and I'm going to copy here to the side. We're gonna keep it, sorry, we're gonna keep it because we're gonna need it later, okay? So we just leave it here for now. Um, so this exercise that we did um, with the first spreadsheet, we need to do it with all of them. 
um, we need to allow access uh, to the other two as well. So I'm going to come here and uh, we're going to edit the import range and we're going to delete this and we're going to get on our second spreadsheet the unique identifier. Remember after the D. Um, so after the D and before the edit, control C and we're gonna paste it here in between the inverted commas. The range is the same uh, because I have exactly uh, the same amount of data, but it could have been different. Uh, but in this case, the range is the same. Okay, so I'm gonna press return. I'm gonna get again a reference error because I need to allow access. Let's allow it. Oh, sorry, you see the mistake I made here? I didn't uh, change the name of the, of the sheet. Um, so let's name this one sales as well. Okay. And now it worked. So you see I had made a mistake that I had not updated the name of the, of the sheet where I'm asking it to go and look for data. Okay, so this is done as well. Let's copy this import range as well and keep it here to the side uh, for later use. And now we need to do the same exercise with the third spreadsheet. So again, um, we need to um, go and, and grab the unique identifier from the spreadsheet after the D, before the edit, control C to copy, control V here in between the inverted commas. And remember, this is not going to work because I have to rename the, the sheet. Let's go back there and let's rename it to sales. Okay. Back again to our consolidated database, allow access. Okay. Um, once again, let's just copy the import range. Control C, Control V, I have it here to the side. Now to the second part of our uh, work here, we're going to have to do some filtering. So basically when we did our import range, I'm already going to copy this. Um, you see what we did here? We did copy everything that is from A2 until H. The problem is when we're saying that we also um, importing all of those blank cells that come uh, from H. So we need to do some filtering to make sure that we are importing only what has data on it. So second step is going to be for us to do some filtering and we're going to have to do again this three times. Okay, so we're going to do, uh, we're going to start the filter function, which is equals uh, filter. As always, I like to click in the helper. First, we're going to need our range, which is basically uh, our import range. Um, so I just pasted the import range here and we're going to add a comma and then the next part is our condition so our condition basically i want you to look at this range and you want you to capture anything that is not empty so again it's going to be my range my import range again but i want you to only look for things that are different so to do uh, to say different we say less than bigger than so that means different and then double inverted commas that means empty um, the only thing is that um, I don't want you to look across the whole selection uh, A2 to H. I want you to look uh, only into A. That's going to be my source of true because I could have some empty spaces in the other column. So I just want to make sure my source of true is column A. Okay, we're going to press return. And here we are only getting um, the data. We are not getting those empty cells. Okay, so we are going to repeat this. Um, we are going to repeat for the other two uh, sheets, so we can just do it here right below. Uh, again, if you want to do this, I could just like copy and paste and then I just come and edit. Uh, so let me, let me, I'm using Ctrl C here to copy the second import range. Come here on A18 where I copied it and I'm just going basically to replace it. So I'm saving a little bit of time. Okay, control V here and then control V here again. But remember, we have to edit um, copy up until here, control V, but we have to edit 
a to a because we only want to look into column a as a source of true return so you see it's doing that for the central region which is my second spreadsheet uh, let's copy the formula over again Control c the formula is always here on the first um, cell okay so i copy uh, i copied it by doing Control c and we're gonna come here again at the bottom do Control v and we're going to do the same and get our third import range, filter the third one. And then we come here and we just, um, we are just going to replace uh, from import range. Control V to replace, Control V. We're going to replace it the second time as well. Just remember to change from A2 to A. Sorry. Return. Okay, so that's the second step. We've done our filtering. All right, we're down to the uh, last part of our um, work here, which is just combining the filter functions um, into an array to make sure that the data is in together because we want to make sure that whenever we are updating the data is not getting awkward formatting, right? Okay, so uh, I'm going to convert and let me open this editor here so you, can, you guys can follow with me. So I'm going to convert this formula into an array by basically adding a curly bracket here. So I add a curly bracket, bracket and uh, if you guys want to make this easier to read, you can do Alt, um, Alt Enter in a normal computer. I need to do um, Command Option Enter because I'm using a Mac, and that brings it to a um, to a different paragraph. It's just to make things easier to read. Okay, so I have my first filter um, after the curly bracket, and then I need to add a semicolon. And I'm gonna go and get my second um, my second filter function, which was here um, in A18. So I'm going to copy everything here, apart from the equal sign. Can okay, do Control X, and I'm going to remove it from here. We don't need it here. We need the space, right? So we're gonna get it, and we're gonna copy it in our original filter function. Um, sorry, I didn't save the changes that I had made. So basically I had added a curly bracket here and an inverted comma at the end. And I also had done uh, a space. So we're gonna copy the second one. Um, and you could just close it. Of course, you need to close it with a curly bracket. So now I have uh, data from the two filters and what are we going to do? We are, we are going to add the third one. So the same thing, I came here to the third, I come here to the third one. I copy the whole formula, Control X, um, and I'm going to delete it from here. We don't need it anymore because we are going to combine it here on the third one. So I have the first filter with import range the second so what i need to do now is before the curly bracket i add a semicolon i'm going to do again alt enter or option command enter uh, control v to copy my third filter and i have three filters here now combined press enter and i have all of the data from my three spreadsheets now combined. I have 46, um, including the, so it's 45 um, uh, rows of data. And you can come here and you can see I had 15, uh, excluding the, um, the title. So I had uh, the header, so I had 15, 15 and 15. So that's um, my 45 here, so I, now that I have uh, my three spreadsheets now combined here, filtered, no awkward spacing. 
show you how this is actually working okay so you see we have combined the three um, data um, the three uh, spreadsheets let's look the first one which is west region the last data point that we have here are is for n and kiwis uh, so that should be um, row 16 so it's n and kiwis you see west ends with uh, n and kiwis so actually uh, let's add a new data set here let's add um Let's copy pineapples from the top and let's add here to the bottom. Okay, so I've updated this. Now there should be uh, automatically in here, you see, without uh, creating any um, disruption to the data that is below this because it everything updates uh, automatically. So that's uh, pretty neat. Um, the fact, remember that when we did our import ranges, we left this open-ended. It means that we can uh, update our um, sales sheets as much as we like, and they're always going to update. Uh, the updates are always going to be reflected here. And the fact that we use the filter functions means that even if there are more blanks, we are never going to be seeing the blanks in here. So um, that should be that should work pretty well.